Hello valued viewers, I hope you're all doing very well. Today's viewer request is from, I don't know, I've forgotten, I'm sorry I've lost your request, but I do sort of remember it because it's stuck in my mind. It was something along the lines of, in 2027, when the UK destroyers, the Type 45s, have fitted to them the new Dragonfire Laser Directed Energy Weapons, or DLU weapon, how effective could the ships be in the Red Sea protecting merchant vessels from Houthi drones? And that's such a good request because it's so relevant of what's happening today and also such a primary use for a directed energy weapon like Dragonfire. So Dragonfire is of course a weapon that's being quickly developed for use on Royal Navy ships. Originally it was touted to be introduced in 2032 but it's been moved forward due to various successes and now 2027, just two years from now, our ships should have it. This is not our first look at directed energy weapons. We looked at the Helios or Helios system for the US a couple of months ago, but this is the first of the UK. So today's scenario is pretty simple and this is gonna be pretty quick. We're in the Red Sea, what I would consider the most vulnerable point here. Here is Western Yemen and Houthi units will be using guided explosive drones to attack ships in this pinch point. So today we have a large merchant shipper and we have HMS Daring here who's going to be protecting her. A few miles inland, the Houthis, of course supplied by Iran, have three Iranian Shahed 136 drone launchers. Each launcher has 10 drones. Obviously that's 30 total and they're going to launch them all at the ship. We're going to run this three times. First, we're going to run it firing the drones and having Daring hold fire just to see how destructive these drones can be. Then we're going to have Daring try again, but this time she'll use her conventional weapons, her CAM missiles, remember this is 2027, her Aster missiles, and shoot those drones down. And importantly, what we're going to get is a cost. How expensive is it to use those weapons? Then we're going to do the same with the cheap weapons only, the dragon fire and other non-guided weapons. So let's start. Just a lovely normal day passing through the Red Sea. You've got to get those excellent quality goods to the UK when suddenly, ba ba ba. Here they come. I'll put the log, uh, mod links in the video description. Viewers, as ever, if you want to go and try it yourself. Shahed's pretty good. Uh, the propeller doesn't spin, which it doesn't feel like, obviously. Uh, just a limitation of what we're doing here today. We can speed that up. They fly about two and a half thousand feet, about a hundred-ish knots. They are, of course, guided and have explosive noses used extensively, of course, in the Ukraine-Russian war. Ukraine, uh, sorry, Russia has purchased them en masse. Really interestingly, if you've watched developments lately, they've been spotted acting as aeroplanes. So they're suicide drones, obviously, but it's not uncommon now to see them with not sidewinders, but if you like the Russian variant of the sidewinder, the AFID infrared, infrared guided missile attached to the top so it can be used as a drone it's a suicide drone that can defend itself it's crazy right and in some cases now they've been spotted with bombs so we've got super cheap 20 30 thousand dollar shahed drones with missiles and bombs I and mean, what is the world coming to we're not going to need airplanes pretty soon anyway obviously you know what's going to happen these aren't the most powerful warheads in the world, but it doesn't really matter. That's an unarmed, unarmored tanker. It is not a warship. It's very vulnerable. And of course has a high explosive, not high explosive, but many flammables on board. Sorry if my bad voice today viewers have been really sick, but this is good fun, right? Well, that is going to serve no purpose, but to anger HMS Daring even more. Speed that up. Lots of little explosions leading to much loss damage. Yep. And that's it, it's literally a sunk tanker. Well, wow. over she goes. Right, well, um, let's have some revenge. Let's uh, open up the taps on the Type 45 and try again. So, speed that up. Boom, boom, boom. All right, this time, Daring is gonna turn her radars on. So, air search radar on, but surface search radar on, just in case. And we're gonna try and defend ourselves, but rules of engagement say that we can only defend ourselves or defend a ship 
once the targets are over the water. So we have to wait. But once they are, which is pretty much now, we can open fire. Now we're going to do a cost exercise here. We've got a modern variant here, so we've got CAM for close in defence, longer range defence. We've got Astas in terms of costs. A CAM missile costs an estimated $0.4 million per missile. Nothing is cheap, especially not missiles. An Asta 30, an estimated $3 million per missile. It really is quite astonishing. Uh, so they've got 48 and 24. Uh, let's see what they use. So, uh, far away. Chocks away, my dear. Off we go. Immediately a $3 million missile gets fired. Now they're going to have absolutely no trouble at all shooting these drones down, but at what cost? And therein lies the problem and the beauty of the directed energy weapon. Cams, much cheaper way of doing it, but still nearly half a million bucks per pop. And this shows beautifully the asymmetry of modern, cheap, disposable drone warfare. Wow, that really was a waste. Drone warfare. When your drone costs $30,000 or whatever and your missile costs $3 million, you can bankrupt a nation just by throwing drones at them. Okay, so no pro Wow, what a waste. What a waste. It's kind of a her problem, right? And it's going to add that up. So 48, she's used a staggering 38 uh, Astas and 13 cams. So let me go and add that up. Yes, that's right. She started with 48 and 24, so 120 million dollars. Let's try it again with our dragon fire. So I've turned the sexy mood lighting on to help show the laser. Now the first thing that you guys complained about when using the Helios or the Helios American system was that the way it was modelled is that it was an instantaneous kill with a laser. I just pause that there. It would just zap the thing it was trying to zap and it would immediately be dead, which you said, of course, doesn't work like that. Instead, you have to hold the laser or the beam weapon on the target, heating it up, causing it damage, and eventually it burns out or does whatever damage needs to be done. We've tried to model that as best we can. This is made by my friend LB. It will not be publicly available because we've had to basically copy someone else's stuff, but there are other versions. The public Eileen Burke has it, the public F127 has it, so you can get it out there. Uh, and this is the best we've managed to do. So I've just used a buff over there because it's big and easy to see. And if I want to uh, drag and fire that buff, avert your eyes if you don't like seeing buffs destroyed, but watch this otherwise. You can see, you can have about half a second of attack, but then it blows up. So it's about the best we're gonna get, and drones are gonna be even smaller because they're much smaller. So, still a work in progress that, but otherwise let's continue. In terms of the range of dragon fire, all of those weapons are gonna have a range of about seven miles in perfect conditions. And, and one of the biggest problems with them, of course, is environmental interference, water, in the air, rain, mist and whatnot, massively reduce the effectiveness of these weapons. It's been one of the biggest problems getting them working and the range will come right down. But here we have perfect conditions, no sand in the air, we're going to get the full seven miles. And the sun's coming up, right, you sir, shoot him. Zap, got him, right. If that's the case, then turn your radar on absolutely nuts please zap 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 <laughs> cool huh we've put a kind of a cooldown in it so every few shots it has to have a cooldown that's our way of simulating it having to hold the laser on to the target uh, for a few seconds now what's important here is the cost according to uh, the UK Ministry of Defence Firing the weapon for 10 seconds, which is the estimated of what it would need to do to take down a medium-sized target, it would cost only £10. So, well, £1 per second of shot. Well, so, £10 to shoot down one of these rather than a $3 million missile. It almost boggles the mind, doesn't it, viewers? And I guess that's just the cost of the fuel it costs to run the generators to run the actual weapon. Anyway, speed it up to make it look a bit more impressive. <laughs> oh, look at that one. That did a long one. Did you see that? Uh, that in my effort to try and get it to, to last longer. Okay, it's having to do a cooldown now. Just firing again. 
There, it's got a big one there. It's got a big one. Ah, I keep missing it, sorry. So I've been trying to get it to latch onto the target and take a while to blow it up. And sometimes it works and most of the time it doesn't work. It's almost random. Um, yeah, there you go. There's another one, you see. That's a good few seconds. Zap, 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 zap. Anyway, that's a total of $300. Sorry, £300 sterling, about $400 of um, energy. Oh, no, there's another one. Not finished yet. Are you going to fire at him? He's not. I've got to kill it myself. Let's try again. Dragon fire. Ho. Fire. The laser. Come on, fire. Please. Why is it not doing it? Dragon fire. Engaging dragon fire. Uh, it's not going to do it. I think we've broken it finally. Engaging dragon fire. As it flies over. Without any resistance at all. No, nope, I think we've broken it. We've broken it. Well, let's pretend this guy was blown up then. That's the best we're going to get. Boom! There you go. 30 down. $400 down. Uh, the beauty of the weapon, I suppose. Perfectly suited for taking down slow-moving drones, unmaneuvering targets, and stuff like that. That's about the best I can show at the moment. I hope it was interesting anyway. And bye-bye.